Of all the Mario characters in Smash, it seems like Fawful is now leaked. Well, let's talk and break this all down. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. And it is quite strange, but it's also something that a lot of people have latched onto and have sent my way. Yes, the Super Mario Saga, like the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, actually had so many great characters, and I absolutely love those games, and especially the first game in the series, because it had so much charm, it did a lot with those characters, and it did a lot with experience expanding the world and the Bean Bean Kingdom and all that sort of stuff, but I also think that these characters maybe have more life next to, of course, all that Alpha Dream stuff. Now, a lot of you guys know that they actually went out of business and Nintendo hasn't really taken the time to scoop up any of that talent from, of course, that company, which I think is a little bit sad. Today, we get to break down information about a character from that franchise that might actually appear in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and also some other characters and me costumes that seemed to have leaked alongside all this information. So it's totally crazy that we get to talk about all of this. There is a lot more information because of course Mario's 35th anniversary is happening, which means they really want to do more information and they really want to do more content from the Mario franchise and they've been looking for ways to actually include it in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. But of course, we already had Piranha Plant as like the special character. So what other Mario character are you going to choose, right? Waluigi would make sense for a lot of people, but yeah, he's still an assist trophy, and are you really going to open up that Pandora's box? And we have other characters that make sense, like Gino, that have recently been deconfirmed through me costume. So there's a lot to talk about in this episode, because next to Fawful, there are other characters that happen in this leak that I really want to take the time to discuss. And of course, I've been answering many of you guys' questions about Smash Ultimate and new fighters in our show Question Blocked, right? Answer your questions. What do I think of your favorite game? How do you start making YouTube content? Whatever you can think of, send your question through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and I will answer your question live on the show in our next Question Blocked episode. Alright, so let's break down this leak. It actually comes to us saying Smash Ultimate Final DLC with the picture of Fawful being leading here and it opens up with other characters. Something that a lot of you guys are going to be very excited about. Crash and Coco, which are actually codenamed Apple in the system are coming with me costumes from Rayman, Spyro, and the Gex. Gex baby! And of course the Stage and Sanity Beach and Spirits from the Home series. Now Ratchet and Clank are codenamed Sarge and they are coming with me costumes from the Sly Cooper franchise, Jack and Daxter, Doom, and Fortnite series. The stage is actually Metropolis, and it's coming with spirits from the Home series. Then finally saying Fawful, codenamed Chuckle, is coming with me costumes from Super Mario RPG, Mario and Luigi RPG, and the Paper Mario series. The stage is Mount Beanpole, and it's coming with spirits from Mario Maker 2, Mario 3D All-Stars, and Mario 35th Anniversary, and Mario Kart Live Luigi's Mansion 3, and Bowser's Fury. I mean, there is a lot of information here, and I don't really know what they're trying to say with this entire league. Like, is this actually coming? Is this someone's prediction? It totally feels like a leak, but it also has a lot of characters in there that I don't think are very highly likely. Um, I first got to start off with Crash and Coco here, because Crash and Coco, to me, are characters that completely, in every sense of the word, make sense, and if they don't happen to be characters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I'll be very surprised. There are a lot of reasons why these characters would be perfect, I mean, think of how Crash now looks with his new, like, threads, with his new style since Crash 4, it's about time, and Coco, of course, having pretty much the exact same moveset, so them being alternate costumes of one another would totally fit, and of course, they are now on Nintendo Switch, that specific game isn't, but there's already been leaks that the, the Crash 4 game could actually be coming to Nintendo Switch, so all of that could coincide with a huge reveal, of course, through moveset potential, these characters Characters would also already fit in quite well with Smash Brothers, and the history of the character I think is also interesting. Of 
course, starting out as a PlayStation mascot, and of course, making fun of the plumber boy, the right mustache boy. So I would really love to see a trailer that Crash would also make fun of Mario, and maybe even we use the costumes that now Mario actually has in the theme park, right? Super Nintendo World, we have the big Mario mascot. So maybe Crash comes and visits Super Nintendo World. Would that not be super exciting? Now, I think that the codename Apple makes sense, of course, the Wumpa Fruit, and getting the spirits from that series is going to be a lot of fun because there are going to be bad guys in there like Dingo Dial and, you know, Neo Cortex. That's going to be a lot of fun, but the me costumes is where this kind of falls apart. Rayman and Spyro kind of make sense. I mean, Spyro specifically does make sense, but Rayman is, of course, Ubisoft and isn't really that connected with it. But then Gex, out of nowhere, of course, I jokes, Gex baby, right? A lot of people really like that, but like it more for the meme. I don't really know if this is something that they want to dig back up, right? Gex isn't really a franchise at the moment. It's going to be a little bit strange. Of course, a lot of things have been featured in Smash Ultimate that aren't really popular anymore. So yeah, we'll see and wait if that actually comes to fruition. Now, Ratchet and Clank is where this sort of falls apart for me. I think that these characters are fun and they actually do kind of make sense in the larger scale, but if you already have Crash and Coco, characters like Ratchet and Clank would kind of fit that same, you know, it's a third person kind of mascot game with these two characters and it's PlayStation bound and now they're coming to a Nintendo. Like, Sly Cooper, Jack and Dexter, all of that makes sense to me, but they probably will choose one and it will probably be Crash if they choose any of that. So that would be my take. Of course, I would love the idea of all of these costumes. And yeah, I mean, a Fortnite series costume is going to make a lot of people that like that franchise very happy. But then the final character, of course, the mainlined character for this video is Fawful, which of course is codenamed Chuckle. Yes, Fury, right? That's going to be the thing that people are memeing about the most. Most, and coming with a lot of cool me costumes, me costumes from Super Mario RPG, not really specifically saying who, right? They could be anything, Mallow Hat, and then Mario and Luigi series, so this could be like the Kekleta, the bad guys of that series, and Paper Mario, so maybe some of the party members from that game. Now, what I think is funny is that Mount Beanpole, of course, also featured in Super Nintendo World and Super Mario 3D World. That's a lot of fun to actually kind of combine that because, of course, Beanpole could tie into Fawful in some sort of way, right? Now, of course, having spirits from Mario Maker 2, 3D All-Stars, Mario 35th Anniversary, Mario Kart Live, Luigi's Mansion 3, and Bowser's Fury is going to tie into that whole Mario celebration. So all of that does completely make sense to me. So we'll have to wait and see if that actually is something that Nintendo would be willing to do, right? Because the character isn't huge. There are a lot of other Mario series characters, especially villains, that would fit a lot better for the general audience, like the characters that a lot more people know, and so the character would probably earn a lot more money for Nintendo because a lot more people would actually buy that character. So, of course, I would love to hear what you guys think of all the news of today. If you comment down below, that could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video. And today's comment question is, do you actually want Fawful in the game? Let me know. And as for a previous comment question winner, our answer actually comes to us from our very own user, Matt Yi, saying, Honestly, this leaker is kind of predicting for his own thoughts on this leak. The thing is that Byleth was chosen by Nintendo as a fighter for Smash because Fire Emblem Three Houses was an amazing game in its recent time, and people wanted to know what Fire Emblem is. The talk about Steve makes little sense. We got Steve, and he's in Fighters Pass 2. Why would he be in the next Smash game? I don't know why would Sephiroth be a cheaper pick for Smash that Sakurai said in his presentation when he was facing with some challenges with copyright holders from various countries. And of course, this leaker is predicting these three fighters on his own by going the easy to attain route. Um, not that that enthusiastic for Tails as a fighter and his Mii costume did return from Smash 4, so I don't see that happening. Also, I'm not sure about this theory of two characters from separate passes and from the same company would mean anything in the future. So Matt Yee, thank you so much for your detailed comment. I do think there are a lot of things that you might not consider here. I mean, Sephiroth being a cheaper pick, I think that that would probably be just because of the partnership with Square, right? Maybe having two characters for the price of one or some sort of discount. And of course, yeah, Sakurai is facing all those copyright things. 
but Byleth being in the game could have been, you know, easier. I mean, it doesn't cost Nintendo that much money to actually implement a character like that because they hold the rights, they don't have to share the, you know, the money with them. That would totally make sense in my book. And yeah, I do actually want Tails. Tails does look like a lot of fun as a Smash Brothers character, but I totally get it that people could be happy enough seeing the character as a me costume. That would also totally work. And of course it's in the game, so people could already have their fun and you know, their dreams of Tails in Smash could already have been granted. So thank you guys so much for sending in all your comments. These are always a ton of fun to read through. And of course a huge shout out to our latest Patreon supporters. It's a crazy time in the world right now. And the idea that you guys would be behind this channel would support me doing this every single day for you guys is heartwarming. I'm so happy to make videos every single day and take the time and actually entertain you guys with stuff like this. So uh, yeah, it means the world to me. If you want to donate anything and support me, you can go to patreon.com slash blocked content. And well, remember, if you're not yet a member of the blocked content family yet, it's easy. Hit subscribe now, smash that like button, ring the bell for notifications, and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you around the corner where there's always more blocked content. See ya.